Hey everybody, this is Joby. Today I want to talk about the Jubilee Festival that is coming April 6th at 10 a.m. Eastern and ends on April 18th. So that's a long time to, uh, to have a festival and it is the best festival there is in my opinion. Now what I want to do is go to the ESO website and uh, check out all the details and we'll be right back all right so we are on the ESO news page of uh, Elder Scrolls online gorge on cake enjoy bonus XP and earn special rewards during ESO's anniversary Jubilee I wait every year for this event I love it it's uh, it's fantastic celebrate ESO's birthday with cake and more during the 2023 anniversary Jubilee in-game event ESO turns nine the 2023 Anniversary Jubilee kicks off April 6th at 10 a.m. EDT and continues until April 18th, 10 a.m. EDT. Before you can join the festivities, you'll need to grab the best part of any birthday, a delicious slice of cake. To do so, locate the free event quest, Ache for Cake, in the Quest Starter section of the in-game crown store or by picking up a cake voucher at any Jubilee Bakery Barge located in Vulkel Guard, Davin's Watch, and Dagger Fall. I'll be doing videos to show you guys how to do this. Um, it can be confusing for new players. But that's okay. We're going to get you handled. Once you've completed the quest, you'll be rewarded, rewarded with this year's sumptuous cake called Jubilee Cake 2023, which you can summon from the tools section in your collections menu. Each time you take a bite of the celebratory confection during the event, you'll receive a two-hour 100% XP boost as well as three event tickets. Remember to enjoy a slice of cake every day of the event to maximize your rewards. So, now we get to the rewards. Earn Jubilee Gifts, Daily Crafting. These are going to be the um, the quests that you can get tickets from. Daily Crafting Ritz, Daily Delve and World Boss Quest, Daily Alliance War and Battleground Quest, Daily Dungeon and Trial Quest, Daily Heist and Sacrament. Now, Daily Crafting Ritz will be as many characters as you have so it will be a lot of tickets jubilee boxes have a chance to contain some of the following goodies basic crafting materials rare crafting materials small chance for a motif chapter furniture furnish furniture recipe or style item a small chance for a tradable outfit style page for the bone mold bone mold armor style and if you've already collected bone mold armor style earlier that day you will instead be rewarded with either a Saber Keel style page or a Worm Cult style page. Those Worm Cult style pages sell for a lot. They are rare. A small chance for a work World Cult style item, desecrated grave soil, and a small chance for transmutation crystals. This is the bone mold armor right here. Looks pretty good. Maybe dyed a different color. And uh if you continue to enjoy cake every day throughout the event, you can earn up to a maximum of 39 tickets. Don't forget, you can only ever hold 12. If you cap out and you keep getting tickets, you will not get them. After you've accumulated some tickets, find your way to the Impresario's Emporium. And all three Passion Dancer Blossoms, all three fragments for Passion Muse Personality, and one fragment for the Meadow Breeze Memory Skin. Bound style pages for bone mold, anniversary cake furnishings, bag of jubilee yesteryear. Now, when you go there, you can uh, buy this little bag and you will get something you don't have. For sure, something you don't have. So for me, maybe I won't get anything. Pretty sure I have all that stuff. Uh, and the bag will always contain group repair kits. Oh, they changed it. Used to be where they would not let you get anything, which is much better. Companion Guild Commendations. During the Anniversary Jubilee, you'll have a chance to snag both sets of fragments for the Passion Dancer Blossom Pet and the Passion Muse Personality from the Impresario. This event will be your first chance to pick up the Bottled Skin Dice, one of three fragments needed to obtain the Meadow Breeze Memories Skin. I'll be picking up the flower and one die. In addition, the Impresario's assistant, Phileas Dormier, has a few other offerings you'll want to take advantage of. The fourth Aurora Firepot Spider Pet Fragment. The fourth. I didn't even know there was one. Hide Shoulder Collectible. And here's to another year of ESO. 
Okay, so this is just a bunch of uh, hyperbole. Don't forget, April 6th, 10 a.m. EDT and runs until Tuesday, April 18th, 10 a.m. All right, let's get back in the game. You can see there is a lot of stuff to do. And uh, this will be the place where I'm doing it. This is Blackwood. Real easy. Just pick up your quests and run over here. Now, something they don't tell you is the best way to do the Jubilee Festival is to have a lot of crafters. So I have 16 crafters. I do crafting on 14 characters. I haven't been doing it lately. I just uh, took a break from that. But you can earn $2 million a month and lots and lots and lots of crafting materials. Um, you know, if you want to see, I can show you. I have uh, a ton of stuff. If we look at my craft bag, go to alchemy, no bait. If we go to blacksmithing, I've got uh, 1,100 tempers. I've got 1,500 drew wax. This is all. This is all from except maybe for 200. This is all from just doing crafting on a lot of characters. Now I know a lot of people say 1,100 kudas. A lot of people are like, um, oh man, that's too tiring. And it is, it's tiring, but you get used to it, and it's just not that rough. Chromium platings, I have 101 chromium platings. Um, I never sell my stuff. I have uh, 99 zircon platings. And uh, just, you know, I have a lot of stuff. Anyway, doesn't matter. Now, you get the boxes, you know, from each quest you do. And you also get a Jubilee Festival box. So when you open those, they've got motifs in there. And it's a lot of motifs. It's not that, you know, chinchy, like just a piece of barley or something. It's going to be something good. So I would suggest for everybody to at least do one more crafter. You know, at least do, do uh, two, three, something like that. And you will be very happy with your outcome well all right that's about it for today so please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content leave a comment in the comment section uh if there's anything you want to talk about i'll be glad to listen join me on discord the most chill discord server on the planet there's a link in the description and if you're not doing anything 8 15 p.m eastern time follow me on twitch upper echelon mediocrity is the name of the channel if you're on xbox North American server, you can join my guild. And my guild's name is Upper Echelon Mediocrity, just like the YouTube channel. And right now we have 443 total members, no members pending, 17 people online. It's later in the evening, so there's less people, but uh, we get 29, 30 people most of the time. Used to be more, but uh, I don't know what happened. Who cares? But we're not in the guild finder, so you need to send me a message on Xbox. My name is Coyote. C-H-A-O-T-E-Y, and I'll get you in as soon as time permits, and what not. All right, so until that time, let's get paid.